Sebastian? Kenta? <laughs> hey, remember that time when you turned off the lights while we were watching that video and Miss Fiona got really mad at you? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the funniest thing that ever happened in that class. Okay, you guys. Continue watching the movie. I'll be right back. Kenta. What? Go turn off the lights. No, you do it. No, go, just go turn off the lights. No, Yo, we can't that. even see anything. Go turn off the lights. Fine. turn them off, you better turn them back on or we can stay here all day. I did. Turn them back on. Right now. I never turn the lights off. Honestly, Sebastian, I don't think anything we've learned so far, I'll ever use again. Are you kidding me? What about applied motion? What about it? Oh, quick class. Today we're in session. I want everyone to take their seats. Uh, today, we found the acceleration and uh, velocity functions. Uh, the acceleration of uh, 2x squared plus 3. Car moving at that speed, we try to find velocity. Basically, this is anti-derivative. We use a derivative integral. We use integral 2x squared plus 3. Basically, that's the x to the cubed uh, times the 2 is a, is a 2 plus 3x. Three, uh, three yeah, that's the velocity function. Uh, you could also take triple derivative, multiply by four and divide by eight pi e to the fourth, and that would also give you a good answer. Anybody want to have any questions or comments? Oh yes, you in the back of your CLA shirt. Hey, so you missed a three over two, it should actually be a two over three, but you know, by the way, we learned about this, this stuff in physics. If you want to hear about it, it's really cool. Uh, that's, a, that's a very nice, Tommy, but uh, we really don't have time for that right now. Actually, dude, I think it's really cool. You might really want to hear about this. It's called ki kinematics. Super cool stuff. What the hell? How did you get there? So yeah, speed is actually a scalar function, but velocity has direction. Velocity is basically how fast an object changes position over time. It also has direction. Now, acceleration is just how fast that object changes its speed over time. So the units for velocity would be something like meters over seconds, whereas the units for accelerations would be meters over seconds squared. How cool is that? Interesting. Uh, would you like to teach a class sometime or should I just take a seat, you know? Engage your brains. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Yeah. How do I get my sig figs right? You use the Pacific Atlantic rule. What's that? So remember when if the decimal is present, you start on the left side, which is the Pacific side. And if the decimal is absent, you start on the right side, the Atlantic side. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, by the way, Sebastian, the number of six figs when doing calculations depends on the number of digits that's the lowest in the given context of the problem. That makes sense. Good. Alrighty, time is up. I'm going to come and collect your EYBs now. Tardy card. general questions, comments, or concerns before we begin? Nope? Alrighty then, let's begin our exciting day of honors physics. Okay, so today we're going to be learning about waves. Can anybody tell me about waves? Tommy. Tommy, can you please explain to me how many types of waves there are and what they are? Uh, so there's like two types of waves. Uh, there's kinetic waves and potential waves. Uh, kinetic waves are basically when an object has energy 
who is in motion and uh, potential waves or when the object uh, has stored energy because it would be moving on its own. Now there's also the conservation of energy which states that the uh, total energy of this isolated system before and after an event are completely equal. Ooh, that was so close, but actually that was from the energy unit. Good job, Tommy. Okay, but really there are two types of waves, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. And uh, speaking about electromagnetic waves, Sebastian, I can feel the waves from your phone from here. Thank you, you can come pick it up after class. Electromagnetic waves are associated with EM radiation, such as light, x-rays, microwaves, and cell phones. An example of a mechanical wave is when you drop a pedal into water and the water makes ripples. Dude, I think that was the most amazing thing I've ever learned. Amazing! Amazing! That was, amazing. That was the one, dude. That was it. Okay, you guys, there's about two minutes left of class. When the bell rings, you are dismissed. And I was like, damn, Becky, look at her butt. Sebastian, obviously you're not paying attention. So tell me, what are Newton's three laws of motion? All right, I got this. Every object stays in motion or at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. Second law, once a force is applied on an object, that object accelerates. Third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Thank God school's almost over. I know, right? Today's our last class for physics. Physics, 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 physics. physics. Guys, how are we possibly supposed to shoot this 20 meters? Boys, you see, what I think we need to do, we need to change this to this. Because when we do this, it means the ball's gonna shoot with a higher velocity, and that means a greater increase in momentum because more velocity means more momentum and as the ball flies through the air it's going to land in the middle of the hula hoop and it's going to bounce back up which kind of makes it seem like an elastic collision which means all kinetic energy is transferred and all momentum is transferred it's not going to be like an inelastic collision where it just bounces and sticks onto the floor like when two cars crash and they kind of stick together that means it's perfectly inelastic that means all momentum is conserved but not kinetic energies it doesn't really mean it transfers from kinetic to kinetic some energy would be parted off into other things, like heat. It works! It works! You're amazing, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, then I said he was like an avocado, bro. Bro, bro. Hey, Cole. Oh, hey, guys, hey, guys, Cole. Hey, Cole. Are you guys taking honors physics right now? Oh, we are in honors physics. By any chance, can you tell me what, like, the curriculum is? And, like, is it, is it a fun class? So the most important thing you should know is to do your homework. Every day, make sure you check Evernote. She's really up to it because she always posts it on Evernote for us. And then lecture notes, make sure you stay awake. They might be boring sometimes, but they're really helpful. Do you guys have any projects? And if you do, how are they? Are they like super hard? The projects, they're pretty fun. You get to work with your friends in the class and you build stuff like apparatuses like slingshot. All right, so any other questions you got? Because I got to hit the class. Oh, um, one last one. How's the teacher? Is she like super cool and stuff? Miss Yoni, she's the best teacher you can have for physics. She oh. keeps you up to date on Evernote every day. She really cares about your grades. Make sure you go into FlexLine because she always wants to help. She always gives you time during class to work on book problems. That's the best because you can always ask her. And she stamps homework every day. And if you forget, just check her up at Flex. Wow, that sounds so great. I'm really excited for Honors Physics next year. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Nothing's right, I'm torn. I'm all out of space. Dude, I'm telling you, man, the whole world around us can be explained by physics. When am I gonna see physics later in my life, anyway? <laughs> that's physics! That's also physics! Hey, that's physics, too! Yeah! Even more physics! Wow, there's physics everywhere! <laughs>